Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sly Jesse here, and today we're having a look at Dark 4 Unholy Wars. Now, this is an MMO, and it's kind of different to what I'm used to playing MMOs. You know, it's, it's a bit different than World of Warcraft and pretty much every other MMO that I can't name at this point in time. But it is an MMO, it's got the basis there. You know, it's quite fun that I've played it so far, but anyway, we're having a look at the tutorial, or the starting stage. And, as you can see here, he's my character. He's a, uh, Mercilian's warrior. I probably can't pronounce that right, but anyway. And, oh look, there's someone there. Alright, so we're just following the tutorial at the moment, so walking slowly by pressing control and forward. Well, I think we can do that, and I think we can jump too by pressing the space bar. So we can also crouch. That's something that I don't see in MMOs. Crouching. I don't think we can lay down. No. But, uh... Oh, we can sit down. That's normal. We can get up by pressing any of the keys. Alright, we can do that. Time to select our weapons. So... Click on your middle mouse button to equip the draw blade. I'm gonna say that's a sword. And press R to equip this weapon. Alright. There goes that barrier. We're right to keep on going. So we need to follow the path until we reach the next starting area. So I can hold shift and run. They're meant to turn this into a more fast paced MMO compared to the original Darkfall. Now I did not actually play the original. I did actually look into buying it a long long time ago. But for some reason it wouldn't take my money so I couldn't actually buy it. <laughs> I know, that sucks. Alright, so strike at a training dummy by approaching it. Aim your crosshair onto it and click your left button. Well, I can do that. Come on, where are you dummies? Here we go. Here's my training dummy. Yes, I hit it. <laughs> oh, everyone's going to be terrified of my fighting style. And we can parry by pressing V. Alright, so what are we going to do now? We're going to go to a bow, are we? Ooh, and here we are in first person. Now this game does have three different types of views. On the archer and the mage, there's only two different types. So here we go, we've got one here and one here. And as you can see on the melee one, we also got the one further back. But on the rage and mage one, we don't actually have those. So, what are we doing? We're going to shoot this target. Alright. So, let's aim just above him. And we didn't shoot high enough. So obviously aiming is going to be a lot better once you actually zoom in. Here we go. See? I reckon about there. Perfect. I think we just got in the red. Nope. <laughs> I'm not a very good archer. But, at least I hit him. Mm. Alright. So, we have a look at the menu now. Now this was very weird, this menu. You got things up across here and down across here. And anyway, let's have a look in our inventory. So here's what we got at the moment. So what's I want us to do? Let's just press P to open up our paper doll. And it wants us to add our Dawn Staff. Do we have that? There we go. In here. We already had one in there. And we can exit. Alright, let's do that. Now, I don't really like first person view, so we're going to go back to third person. And we're going to change to our staff. There we go. So, as you can see here, we've got the first person in our staff. And we have the third person, which I prefer. Now, we want to select our healing spell. Why not? So we've got right click, left click, but we can change between multiple things you know, by hitting the alt key. See here I don't actually have anything <laughs> for my left key, but whatever. So press tab, bring up our wheel, and what do we have? Drag and drop the light skill onto any slot on your right menu. Alright, so we'll put number one. So tell us what it does. Bring light to the shadows. Alright, sure. 
What? Wrong thing. We just healed ourselves. We didn't want to do that. There we go. Select that. Bring a light. There we go. We got a light above us. Now we can see. Alright, so we need to go down the valley some more until I find some hidden tents. So we can actually put this weapon away and it puts us back into the, the far view, which I love. And I'm actually a warrior, so I'm going to bring out my, my sword. There we go. It's on his side now. So, hidden tents. It's not the hidden tent. Can you actually see any? Oh, we've got some water here. That actually looks pretty good. And I don't think I've actually seen actually fast moving water in uh, any MMOs. I know it's kind of a weird thing, but that looks actually pretty amazing having. Oh. What? Oh, we've got some shadow imps here. We're so going to take them out. Draw my sword. Let's take him on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got him. That'll show him. Oh. And we have some loot here, do we? A lizard on a stick. Delicious. I'm going to keep searching for these hidden tents before I get carried away with the combat. So, what do we have here? Anything? No. So, they've got six races in this game. they got... Sorry if I can't pronounce these right. I'm horrible with these. Merkians, which kind of look like humans. Torvar, which are dwarves. Uh, Mahirim, which are kind of like elves, I believe. I think these might be the hidden tents. If they were, they aren't that hidden. We go in them. Yep, there we go. Oop, we didn't want that, but anyway, we now have light again. So, kill a shadow imp and open its grave. So we did that before, but we can do it again. So who else do we have? We've got the orcs, which are orcs. <laughs> and Alfari, which are elves. So... Where are these shadow imps? Because we're going to take one down with my amazing sword skills as we've seen many times before. Here we go. Oop, he's firing something that looks like. Yep, ah, oh, he hit me. <laughs> right, let's take him down. Come here, buddy. There we go, you got him. He's going to have a pure grave. Yep, here we go. Does that have anything in it? Yes, we got another lizard on a stick. So we'll chuck that down there. And enter the shadowy cave while avoiding the shadow golem. Well, let's look for that. I believe I saw it just across that river there. Let's see if we can actually take a swim. Oh yeah. Kind of looks like the river's pushing us down. I like that. I reckon that's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's a waterfall down there. Alright, so this looks like the shadowy cave. Where's this golem? It's meant to avoid it. Cannot see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was just blending in, wasn't it? So I'm meant to avoid it. And I truly don't think I can actually take him on. So, we're definitely going to avoid him. So, this is Invader at the moment. I should have mentioned this at the start. We've got a few days to release. Just over a week, about nine days. And then you can all play it. And, you know, they might have a patch. It might fix up a lot of things. Things might change. So, they might not exactly be like this. But, who knows? They might be. 
So we're going for our cave at the moment. We better get our light on. Can't forget that light. Oh, there we go. We can see again. Thank goodness. I am feeling a little bit of lag here. It's like the frame rate's just dropping, but let's pick it back up again. And I guess we're going to have to go down there. Yep. Make our way deeper. Oh, I can do that. And I can take out some of these shadow imps on the way. I don't know if I kill myself though. You think you can hit me? Well, oh, come here. Yeah. Hit him. Oh, you come for some too? Yeah, well. Here, come back here, Mr. Shadow Imp. Alright, and I'd say I am. What's my name? Sly Jesse. The Shadow Imp Slayer. Looks like they're firing at someone else over there. No, oh, they stopped. Alright, so we're getting pretty deep into the cave at the moment. Had some pretty uh, dramas dramatic music there. Ooh, what's that? Avoid the attacks of the dragon and reach the portal below. So there's a dragon. Oh, there's a dragon. Oh. I guess I can't actually hit me so I'll just stay near these are. Uh, Walls. I'm sure that'll protect me. Dragon obviously has war hacks shooting the walls. Oh, down we go. Can we see him? There he is. Oh, he missed horribly then. I guess he doesn't have a name bot. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. We'll get down the bottom here any time now. Any time at all. There he is. Must be pretty angry I killed his imps. Ooh. Didn't sound too happy. Oh, you ain't gonna shoot me. Right. Oh. There we go. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the starting area slash tutorial. There's actually more where you get the one to play future on, or from now on. But you know, it's not the right, the very start area where everything, the very basics are. So. Like, comment, and subscribe. There's another few videos of Dark 4 coming out. Might be playing quite a bit of it. We'll have to see. And I'll see you guys next time. The update when they release this. So here we go. This is the four plan selector tool used by the architects. Architects, sorry. You select a four plan and